you doing? I'm good. I get the opportunity to show you the rig that I've been using uh, as it's changed quite a lot from previous tools. Uh, so I guess starting with the amp, uh, I'm using the Dark Mass Microtubes 900. Uh, this is the first sort of few runs of shows I've done with it. Uh, it just sounds absolutely insane. Uh, and that's going through actually an old cab that I had uh, that me and uh, Pablo retolexed and uh, stuck a little dark glass sticker on just just because you know it's a sick logo. Um, so yeah, that's basically the amp side. And then on the pedal board, I've got a few new a few new uh, pedals on the pedal board too. Next person to walk through this door is a wanker. Whoa! What? That was that was really well timed. Have you met Callum before? No. This is my Hi Callum. Cal. Hello. Last time Bear saw Callum, he was about seven years old. Fair. Yeah. And now he's not. Really? Clearly. This is David Newcamber. He's really excited about it. I'm pretty excited about it. Was it GH7? Yeah. That's pretty exciting. No, just G7. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's really convenient? What? I'm shooting at 60 frames per second so I can slow oh. it down. I'm rocking the Alpha Amiga as my main drive, which sounds badass. And uh, using Dark Mass Vintage Ultra as a clean uh, tone, and then a kind of pushed clean crunch kind of vibe. And they're on two different loops, so I just swap between them based on here. So I can go from clean to crunch, or I can go from clean to alpha, or alpha straight to crunch, or clean. Uh, then I've got the Duality Fuzz, which is nice and filthy. I normally use that with the alpha just to make things a bit more insane. Uh, same with B7K, I just added a touch more of the sort of gritty top ends uh, to the alpha uh, just for certain sections just to beef things up. And I've got the MXR Chorus, uh, which isn't getting used that much in Tosca, uh, mainly because we're not playing infantile on this tour. Um, but I've got the Strymon Dig for ambient stuff, a bit of delay, uh, the Roddenberg 707, which is my clean boost, uh, that's pretty much permanently on as well, I kind of use it as a tone pot. Um, to, to attenuate my strings when they get a bit dull. Um, and then obviously the Hog, which has got my octave, and uh, I use it for doing sort of weird frequency LFO sweeps to make horrible, filthy noises. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just the stock, uh, I think it's a TU2 Boss tuner. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the rig side. Then it's just the two bases. Day two of the tour, and I've already broken the base. Little chap, he should be fitted on here, and that's just not where he is. Um, which is standard, Ben's laughing at me in the background. Um, yeah, so I've had to nip out for an emergency run to Matlands to buy a soldering iron so that I can rewire my base. Oh no, it's not even. Is it on? It's not even fucking on. <laughs> <laughs> Not even on. <laughs> Dave's supposed to be the pirate tech. Didn't even yeah. turn his soldering iron on. I'm turning it 
tired. Yeah. I think. So we just finished the Birmingham show at the Flapper. <laughs> and, and yeah, it was a good show all in all, I think. Um, the repair on my bass worked and it sounded good out front, apparently. Um, so that's kind of the important thing, I guess. So yeah, this is basically what happens after a gig. Um, I'm driving. I'm not driving right now, that would be really silly. Uh, but I'm just waiting for the guys to get some food from a 24-hour Tesco and then we're heading up from Birmingham to Leicester to stay at Travel Lodge and get some sleep and onwards in the morning to Glasgow. So I just decided to shoot a tour update. <laughs> <laughs> because Ben was just about to. Oh, and so what we just so did there weird. together, us, just cut him up. That is a moment of And history. you're part of something there. Dave. Dave just got on. <laughs> Dave just so I'll train. see you guys soon. Hey, we're back in Glasgow. We've got back to the, uh, the Airbnb, which is definitely an upgrade from my normal Accommodation situation, which is the national tour of travel lodges, and uh, down the man found us a really nice place to stay. So we had a fucking awesome gig. Glasgow was great as always. It was, I think, playing wise, we all feel like it was the best one of the tour so far. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling, eating some food, actually, ordered some food, and then we're going out to the nightlife of Glasgow. I'm using a prototype for a signature um, Chapman MLB. Uh, this one has got some Seymour Duncan jazz pickups in and it's also got three band uh, Aguilar preamp in it, which sounds pretty cool. And a little switch for changing where the mids are sitting and blend pot volume. And it's a 26 fret beast and hopefully a new prototype should be coming pretty soon. Um, I've been rocking, if you guys have seen the, uh, the prototype before, on the back of the headstock. There's my first tattoo, which is a triskelion, which you may have also noticed on the top of the Tolex on the uh, on the cab that me and uh, Pablo modded, which is cool. So the other bass I'm using is for when Beer's using his baritone and stuff, and this is the five string Ibanez. Uh, it's just called five string Ibanez because I don't remember the model name. It's far too long, but it's a beautiful bass, and it's actually a very similar construction to the signature in that it's got the wangy neck. And um, yeah, it's just similar kind of wood tonalities and three bands um, uh, preamp in there with switchable mids again. And uh, some sort of fat stacked single coils. I think they're the big splits, Nordstrands. And it sounds great. So yeah, that's basically the Tosca rig for this tour. Because we have inherited